y'all and welcome back to my channel if you haven't already subscribed already i'm gonna give you a minute okay that's enough time so as you know it is now halloween a halloween season basically spooky season so i decided to like redo my intro and stuff and do like a little spookyish season thing because you know i am so so into spooky season so i was like okay just let me like get my thing ready for spooky season and then boom i did so if y'all have already know welcome back again this will be like a little i don't know how to say it it's just like before we get into the video and talk about my relationship on freshman year so i will be like promoting myself or whatever or you know collaborating with other people and basically posting a lot more because i'm i have a lot of content ideas and stuff that i want to do so yeah if i have any if y'all do really have any content ideas please drop them below and i will literally do them and stuff. I'm so sorry if I'm looking out. My nail hurt. Um, so before we actually like actually get into the video, I will be going on Halloween if it's still on to the Eloise Asylum. If y'all don't know what that is, search up the Eloise Asylum. It's like a psychiatric hospital and stuff where they're throwing like. I guess a whole hundred house there is going to be 40 minutes and then it's $40 for the original tickets and 60 for the VIP tickets. I'm getting 40 because I'm going with the group. So we will be there for 40 minutes and I hear that it's hunted and stuff. So I want to see if it really is. So I will be going and that's on Halloween. I'm going to see if it's fun or whatever, but a few inches later. Welcome back after that long little break. So we're going to get into it now. And yeah. So we're going to start from the first exact day. I can't remember like the first exact day, but <coughs> the like first, first day I met Sean was. I forgot when because it was like when I had my old phone number, I think I'll text now and then I text him and stuff. Me and him talked a little bit. We dated the first time. And then, you know, that ended up working a little bit, but then we ended. And then, so, me and him got back together again. And I'm going to explain the date because I'm also going to answer the screenshots in. So, it was like June 1st of 2020. And it doesn't show the time, which is bad. But, yeah, it was June 1st of 2020. He was like, hey, so the question was, did you ever think about getting back with me? I said, yeah, why? He said, would you like to get back together? With the question mark, I was like, yeah. He said, so do you want to go out? I was like, yes, I do. So that's like June, uh, June 1st, 2020. That was like almost <coughs> before. I think we were like on quarantine then. But it was like, oh, that was, I think, my um sophomore year. It was right before. Dang, it's crazy. It was like, right, I guess, right before my sophomore year or on my sophomore year. I don't know. So, then. Yeah. No, I think that was my sophomore year. But then, this is my junior year. I'm going to be a senior next year. Anyways, so, we talked a little bit or whatever. And it, I th it lasted like a month, like, if y'all want to be honest. Because it was, like, June 1st. It lasted, like, a month, and 
Me and him like lasted like a whole month. A month and two days. A month and two days later on July second, two thousand and twenty. He was like, oh, I was like, hi. He was like, hey, sorry to say this, but I don't think our relationship will work out. I was like, goodbye again. He said goodbye. And then that was the end of me and him for the second time. So, where the complication came in was, he was like abusive. He would hit, push me. Mind you, that crap hurt. Definitely send me into a wall. Like, that crap actually hurt. Because, mind you, if you look at me now, I am fragile. My body is like... Yeah, I'm like real fragile. Oh, my God. When was that spread on Like, I'm too fragile to be pushed up against walls and stuff very hard. Or even punched. Like, I got punched today, right? Because me and my friends was like play fighting and stuff. I think we were like either doing third or fourth hour, right? Victoria strikes me in my arm. I was like, ah. No, that was at lunch, though. She had strikes me in my arm. And I was like, bro, this crap hurt. Because it did hurt. And I don't like being punched. Because that crap was painful as ever. I was like, my arm still hurt. It didn't leave a bruise or nothing. But me and her were like, play fighting and stuff. But. One eternity later. That's not the point. The point was, he was just, like, super abusive and stuff. And. It got to the point where I was like, yeah, I might as well just move on from him because if he kept doing that, I would have been like, yeah, it would have been my first abuse of one. Technically, it wasn't even my first one because um, something happened to me when I was like real little that will be discussed another time. I'm sorry if my hair looks so rough it's because I didn't have enough time before this video to like do it or whatever, but um, that situation about what happened to me as like a like a little kid because I still haven't got justice for it would be for another video another time so then boom I then I was I guess I was like I wanted to fight him or whatever because yeah I actually do want to fight him still and I still want to fight him to this day I don't want to like stop until I'm like really like break his neck or something because he just made me so mad like yeah i maybe thought about talking it out with him like hashing it or stuff like becoming friends but he didn't respond then the park was a different situation so let's actually get into the park situation because of the park situation that made me mad so i was like walking home from school today right and I was filming because I was supposed, I was doing like a little structured talk this morning. And if y'all haven't watched it, the link will be in the description below. Anywho, so I was walking home from school, right, continuing my little blog because I had to like hurry on when I was tired and it was hot the whole entire day doing school. So I'm walking to the park, right? I walked through, I walked through. I thought I saw Josh and Julia there. At the park, but now I forgot Josh had to work after school, so I was like, so I was like, that's not them. And then I see a ginger-headed kid, and I was like, is that my ex? And then I'm walking, right? Boom, boom. I was like, I see y'all later. I hit the camera right to stop it because I didn't want to like had a footage in or whatever. So I'm walking still. I'm still walking to the park to the to the time so i'm walking like is this him and then someone had called me because i had connected to the internet at gaudi park and one of my friends had called me from school to ask me something right so i'm walking through i think he knew i was going to be walking home to that park to like to that park i guess because someone told him which they shouldn't have because none of their business so, I'm walking through, right? The two kids that was on the bench right by the park, like, the, like, playset and stuff was, like, I guess giggling or whatever while looking at me. I was, like, so I'm walking still, right? I get to, like, where the street curve is. Mind you, this is in, like, Gaudi's in the, like, same parking lot where the town hall is. So, I'm walking right up the pavement. 
so that I can walk like fast or whatever past him because I don't want to see him. I look over. It is him. I'm like, what is he doing there with another person? So I get instantly mad because he saw me too, which he did this on purpose just to irritate me. He started talking up fast. He's like, yeah, this and that, this and that, this and that. I don't know what he was saying though because I wasn't like really like listening that much. Cause yeah, I don't think in all the conversation. So he was like, this and that, this and that, this and that. Yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, so I'm thinking he's starting to do this on purpose just to irritate me. Which, really, like, instantly, it just made me see red automatically. I was like, okay, so tomorrow I'm going to just bring two pairs of shoes. I'm going to bring my black shoes. Then I'm going to bring my Nike shoes. And then I'm going to just go to school early just so I can fight him. Because he really made me mad. And so, I was like, but then, if I fight him, I can't go to homecoming. And I can't do, like, spirit with stuff. So I'm like, dang. I'm like, what would I do? What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? It was, like, very irritating just seeing him. After everything he put me through on my freshman and my sophomore year. And then the way he treated me. I was like, I feel like I didn't even deserve to get treated like that. I'm trying to, I, didn't, I get, like, around internet again. I'm texting the chat. Me and my best friend him. And then my boyfriend. I'm like, bro, I'm finna kill my ex. After the, he just did today. I'm like, I'm texting it quick before it disconnected. And then it sent, as soon as I walked, two more feet, it disconnected. So, like, good. And then I just started listening to music. I was walking. And then on the way, like, past the other churches. And then it was, like, past <coughs> Coney Island and stuff. I just started, like, I just bust out crying, like. Very hard. And it was just, like, very hard to even, like, look at him after that. And then, right after I got, like, to the grocery store, I don't know if people could tell because I guess I wiped my face, like, very good. That's when I filmed and I was then I just had, like, a bunch of rage in me to where I was, like, boom. I'm finna just say, like, all of this and that. But then... I still, like, cried, though. And then I think I had to, like, right before I had to come in the apartment, I just cried again. And then once I got in, I had, like, I was banging on the door. And then my brother opened, and then my mom came. She was like, why are you banging on the door? I was like, because it's hot, I'm mad, and I just want to hurt somebody. Because I do still want to hurt him. It's, like, so bad. So then... Right before I went to sleep, I wrote down everything. I was like, yeah, so I might as well just do a little bit of a story time tonight and get this over with because I'm going to have to see him in the morning. And if I have to see him in the morning, it's going to be a problem because I might just go up, say his name, sock him straight in the face, and get in trouble, and miss homecoming. And all that. But I don't think I want to risk myself not going to homecoming. Because I'm going with like a group of people. And then I have to go to Eloise. The Eloise Asylum. Up the street from my apartment. For the haunted house. So I was like. I might as well just. I might as well just wait after homecoming. And Eloise and stuff. Or at least. Do it on my senior year because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be going there after, so I'm gonna just punch you straight in the face. But that was just what made me mad the most today, was because he, like he saw me and he knew I was coming, so he decided as soon as I got close, he was gonna start talking loud. I was like, bro, I can deal with this. Like, why did he keep doing this to me? Like. He must really be torturing me. So then, after all of that, I just came home, ate, watched a little bit of TV, listened to a little bit of music, and then went to sleep, and now here I am. 
eating again and filming this little story time. I might decide to do like a little bit more story times whenever I got like tea and stuff to spill, but I might not really because like when I was walking home. I was basically like, when I was walking like to the park and stuff, I was basically filming and talking about that I wanted to go to University of West Georgia because like that's a diverse college and it looks like it's very equal, it's decent. And mind you, University of West Georgia is a big campus, so I was like, dang, this is big, so then, yeah, we just once all of that went down, and I saw him, I just got, like, mad automatically, and I couldn't, like, handle it, but, yeah, so now, I think that's just it, it was, like, I just the same story time, I'm gonna be answering the images in the first part of the, like, video and stuff, when I was, like, reading it, and I'm gonna show y'all, but y'all see, and yeah, but thank y'all for coming to this little story time or whatever. So by the time my talk uploads, then this will be uploading. And I think this is going to be 16 minutes anyways. Then I got also enter my intro in. But thank y'all for watching. And uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Get me to my goal. My first goal is to reach 4,000 watch hours. And then my other goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. So, make sure you subscribe to become a part of my journey as a YouTuber. I love you all, and make sure y'all stay tuned, because I'm going to be doing, like, maybe vlogs for, like, homecoming and stuff. Since right before homecoming, me, Victoria, and the others is going to go out to eat Olive Garden or whatever. And then... We're going to, at the Olive Garden, walk a little bit. Then we're going to take pictures right before the dance. Now, once the dance hits, I'm vlogging that whole entire dance. So, y'all can see the little experience that I like, like, oh, some of this stuff. So, like, I think, like, maybe Friday it will be a, oh, Friday will be the, I'm going to do it for three days, so that means I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to clean my phone out again and do, like, three days worth of footage, because the assembly and stuff is Thursday of next week. Friday is class color day, plus I have to do homecoming court, then I have to do, I have to do homecoming court, the parade, dance in the middle of the field, and then it will be homecoming day the next day. So, I would do a, a, Friday would be just a basically, a three-day vlog and a little get ready with me type day. Because then, that means, like, right after I'm done with one day, I'm going to have to just save all that, like, put all the fish footage together and then save it. So, it might be, like, 12 minutes or whatever. So, it's going to be, like, a long video because y'all going to basically see everything. And if y'all don't want to watch... Like, all of the video, I get to basically, like, put a time step in for y'all to watch or hit just in case y'all want to get there and stuff. So, if I just see time stamps for this video, then, yeah, but then y'all also see, like, a little time stamp thing for the, um, three-day vlog thing because I'm also, I have to edit a lot of that and stuff and then do my thumbnails and stuff and then... I just upload it. So, yeah. Make sure y'all stay tuned for next week. Thank y'all for watching this vlog. I don't know if I'm going to be posting any more this week since it's going to be like two days and then I'm off on the weekends or whatever. Because I have to also do my t-shirt business and stuff. I have to also catch up on a bunch of work. And then, 
look into West University of Georgia since that's the actual school that I'm about to stick with for college and then basically live my life, film again or whatever, do live streams whenever I get like a computer or whatever. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I love you guys and I will see y'all. I will see y'all next time.